Hey guys, Brand Showman Brown here, physical therapist, cross coach, and wellness coach with Get Your Fix Physical Therapy. And my cat again. So, <laughs> yesterday I had you test out why, uh, or test out your hip mobility to see if it's limited. So today I'm going to answer the question on why it's limited, on what's causing, um, what can cause those lim hip limitations. So a couple things. One is when we're sitting all the time, most chairs, well, first of all, sitting naturally shortens those hip flexors. So what sits in here, in the front here, anytime you're sitting, those are naturally in a shortened position. So just if you're sitting a lot during the day because of your job, you're driving, you're traveling, whatever it may be, these are tightening up. Along with that, most chairs tend to kind of curve this way. So it naturally pushes your hips inward just a little bit. Not enough to make you realize that it's doing it, but it's enough to be to cause problems uh, in your day to day activities. So when you're sitting, this gets tight, these get tight because you're sitting because naturally it kind of pushes them in this way. Uh, the other reason that we get a lot of tightness in our hips is just because we don't natu naturally challenge it on a daily basis. Just normal function we don't need a whole lot of hip flexion or hip extension or out to the side or rotation. So our hips, any joint essentially gets happy in its range that it has to move in. So if you're not challenging those end ranges, then it's just not going to be a comfortable position for it to move there. So that's why it's very important to be moving basically all your joints through their full ranges of motion on a regular basis, uh, which we will touch base on that as far as the hips go later in the week. But those are the two primarily primary reasons why the hips get as tight as they do. One is the sitting positions that a lot of people maintain. The other is that we just don't challenge those end ranges of motion that our hips do need in order for uh, just normal function on a day-to-day -day basis. So does that make sense to you guys? Any questions on that? Any of you watching live, any questions? If not, if you're watching this on replay, definitely feel free to uh, comment below with any questions that you may have afterwards. And as usual, feel free to reach out to me directly with any questions you may have uh, specific to what's going on with you. So hope you had a or are having a wonderful Sunday at Christmas Eve. Uh, let's see, tomorrow, Christmas Day. I'm going to pretend I'm not going to work, so I'm going to say I'm not going to get on and do anything, but you never know what may come. So, hope you're having a wonderful day, have a wonderful Christmas, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.